Hello, welcome back. Last time I completed Mimic level, more or less. And I just need to do this room, and... Uh, yeah, you go away. And the island. Let's optimize. Optimization's fun. Could I have done better? Not likely. <laughs> Maybe. Third place tie. Apparently I could have done better. Oh, I could have exited to the south, of course. Alright, whatever. B throw emerges as emerges as B throw emerges upstairs onto an island in the hub after ascending from the mimic level. Alright, so close open. Looks simple. Mimic kills goblin. Everybody's happy. Mimic level cleared. Part 3. Truthful communication. Cool. Let's read a story. Alright, so... First two parts... I did read them. Uh, let's have a refresher real quick. Fragility of truth. Uh, careful construction of the facts, single lie, corrupt understanding of reality. Cool. Okay, that's what that is. Complex truths, uh, impractical, oh yeah, right, uh, multiple agents, multiple trusted agents to arrive at a complex truth. Truthful communication. Communication between trusted agents must be entirely unambiguous. Mm, the true tongue. For this, one must learn to speak the true tongue, mm -hmm. a language in which every word has only one unambiguous and objective meaning, and many words are omitted that can't have a single objective meaning. Sounds like a good language. Part 4. Procedure for finding truth. An unambiguous question is given to a trusted agent. The agent leaves to find a definite answer. The agent either returns with a definite answer or never comes back, eternally searching for the answer. The agent may employ the services of other trusted agents, particularly if the question can be divided into multiple questions that would be useful in arriving at an answer to the original question. Alright. Has Jobus bought a new toothbrush yet? Uh, I don't get to see because I'm not able to go up there. This has opened, for all the good that does me, but Jobus isn't there to activate it and let me out or anything. So, let's go to the exit level. I have everything packed now, Beethro. There he is. I got all four of the scrolls memorized now, but all that stuff about truth and agents didn't seem to have anything to do with the surface being in danger. Well, some of this stuff isn't any good without context. Come on, I have a friend we should meet. We'll travel to the one place I know we can find a trusted agent. Oh man, his voice recorder is clipping badly. I don't remember that happening last time he talked. Are you coming? <laughs> My goldfish is getting hungry again. <laughs> I'm glad I waited. Beethro entered the exit level. And exited the ender level. Wait. There's another level? Music change. Guards! Stop right there. First Slayer, you are under arrest. No! You are charged with destruction of public property and gross negligence of duty. 112th Architect, you are also under arrest for aiding and abetting criminal activity. Stall for time! Uh, explain these charges to me. Absolutely. You have your right. Firstly, you have destroyed in an unsolicited manner many useful dungeon resources the Empire has kept in reserve, including, but not limited to, armaments, arthropods, pomplex, bombs, bridges, butterflies, and so on and so forth. Hey, the butterflies weren't the my fault. The whole list of all Empire Briars property that. you have ever illegally destroyed to date is archived in storage and can be retrieved for you upon written request. Hey, stop that! 
Secondly, you have failed in your duty as Slayer, to prevent any surface dwellers from hearing of or reaching the underground empire. The evidence, of course, being your own presence at this time and place. Stop right there. For these and other offenses, we must arrest you, until you can be tried in a court of law. Now, get them! Fascinating. What are those? I'm closing this door to block off the guards, Pedro. You can go back later when the heat dies down. Okay. Are these heat doors? Image floor, gray door. Ah, they're characters, I see. So we know Job is his job title, his 112th architect. Interesting. Also, apparently it's illegal in the 8th to not do your job correctly. <laughs> and you can be arrested for it. I guess that is in character. Staircase at 16, 15, 23, 16, 15. What? So if I do it what it says... Bethro traversed a narrow passage above the room, then lowered himself through a hole in the ceiling into the small chamber. Fascinating. There's a roach here now. Oh boy, this is going to be weirdly multi-layered. I want to do a thing. And that thing is going to be hard to do. Wait. Blah, 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 blah. Now. Okay. Oh, Beether killed the roach. Got it. I want to see if I can do this wrong. Also, is there anything else interesting going on in this room? That's random. That's random. That does... Okay, so we'll let the other roach in and close this so I'm unable to open this for whatever that does. All right, so if I'm not facing south and I go up this portion of the stairs, it does not make a difference. Okay. Fair enough. A uh, guard appears when I hit that orb. I guess it is a pretty noisy thing to do. We can't go any further. All right. Intercept them at the nearest departure hub. Okay, so no doing this. Why... why are these? <laughs> I don't get that. I guess they'll make sense eventually. Also, what were these again? Grey door. It is unclear. This is a way to come back when the room is... is the room going to be uncleared? Oh, this is weird. Open 1210. Close 1210. Why? Twenty six three, twenty six five. No, no. Toggle twenty six. What? Oh wait, what? Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Twelve ten is not this. That was twelve eight. That's twelve ten. Okay, since pressure plates... Okay, this is all scripted stuff. Hmm, that's unfortunate. So, can't draw the highlight. It's just going to have to tell. Tell me about it. So, now, wait a minute. This is... This is an orb puzzle where I can't highlight the orbs. Fine. Oh, wait, I did that wrong. Uh, kind of. Okay. I opened some things. Ooh. Do those stay? They persist after leaving the room. That's what's special about them. Oh, boy. Hi, Wubbas. What are you for? What can I do with a Wubba? What can I do here? Hey, hey, Wubba. Okay, so this is at least kind of... Oh, well, that's a passage. <laughs> I missed the existence of that passage. Ah. 
I want a first place tie for whatever reason. <laughs> uh, okay. This is weird. Fagundo. No gray doors. Scroll. The tunnel under the power token faces east. There's a tunnel under the power token. I wouldn't have even noticed that. Alright. Um, I want to look around. <laughs> Staircase at 9697 facing south. Going up here will cause me to come out here facing south. I guess there's a reason to do that at some point. Citizen, you're building a cracked wall there, so I can go that way, okay? This looks complicated, even ignoring the weird persistent stuff that's going on in the gray doors. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> also, every single room has some form of hint scroll. You know, there was a secret in decoy level that never made any sense. It appeared to be an exit to something. Choose a staircase, west or east, but take a look at the rooms to the north first. Neither of the above rooms are secret, but there is one trivial secret to be solved that can be accessed by solving either room. Head west to see that secret. What? Okay, look north first. Okay, things are happening. Okay, things are a little different. Except... What? What's going on? Clockweight storage. Other furniture. So how are these different? They're not. They are identical, right? My eyes are telling me there are no visible differences between these rooms. Turn order is the same. Two, one, four. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, Three, four, five. Turn order's the same. Pressure plate's the same. So close. Close. Open, open, open. Open, open, open. Toggle. Toggle. Open. Hey, where's my cursor? Open. 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 So it did... Open those four. Open those four. Did the... Did the scroll... Something... Wait a minute. 15, 18. 15, 18. When I change rooms, my cursor moves. Or... Yeah, my cursor moves when I change rooms. It moves down every time. That's weird. <laughs> okay, so that's a thing that happens. Did the scrolls explain what was going on there? I didn't catch that whole thing. Neither of the above rooms are secret, but there is one trivial secret that can be accessed by solving either room. Since south twice west, nine nine facing south. Quince south twice west. 20, 28 9 facing south. So 9 9 and 28 9. You get to enter these from different points. 9 9, 
28, 9. So choose either here or here. Weird. Well, I'm not doing that yet. So what's the secret over here? I see. I see. So drop bridge. That is indeed trivial. This is structured in a very unfamiliar way. Apparently, Chaco, 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 <laughs> however you say his name, has another hold that is called Chaco's Hold, which does all sorts of weird stuff like this. Hey, there's a thing. Oh. Uh. Uh. That could be worse. Oh no. A horrible tunnel maze. <laughs> Beethor sums up my thoughts perfectly. However, there have not been any branching paths yet. Is this just a tunnel labyrinth? A linear path to a center through a convoluted hallway? Or not? <laughs> That was easy. I feel almost as if the architect is laughing at me. Okay. All of these tunnels appear to lead where they lead. Wait. Is that how I got here? Yeah? Okay. Huh. Weird. What's all this stuff? Oh, grass. Grass looks weird under transparent tar. And this lighting, no, it's grass looks weird under extremely, extremely bright lighting. <laughs> What's behind those green doors? Leaf juice, I hope. Is leaf juice another way of saying tea? Or is it something different? Secret room? Okay. This continues to get more and more confusing. Yeah. All the rooms have so much visual clutter, it's... They look probably way more complicated than they actually are. But at a glance, these all look very unfriendly. Okay, so this is... Alright, so that tunnel goes over that way. This is not the end of the road here. Not exactly. Because there's this entire section over here, too. Entire section being one room. Okay, so that's the exit. Exit of the exit level is here. And then there's this. All right, anyway, let's do a room. So what is going on here? Well, I'm trapped in here forever. So nothing opens that, right? Tunnel there, power to... Oh, uh, yeah, trapped in here forever. No possible way to go through those. <laughs> <laughs> That's a trapdoor gate. Uh, Talk about that, which also closes those. Do I want to go in here first? Okay, guard is released by that. Okay, so what's the fagundo for? Forgetting this orb. Uh, that orb is to get this golem. It also opens that. I can't get to that power token before I've done that. Do I want to lock the guard in here or something?
so no complications with that. I can just pull those out and kill them at any time. Fagundo needs to help me get in here. Uh, it also... Okay, so I'm going to be trapped in here until... Mm, this is why the guard... Well... Oh, I'm disarmed, too. I get to rearm there. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Uh, so let's just focus on getting the power token. Trapdoor gate. Trapdoors are here. Uh, those have to drop. Of course. How can I drop the trapdoors? Oh, right, there's a tunnel. But I'm going to be disarmed. And, well, and I can't get there until the trapdoors are dropped. What? So drop the trapdoors first. They're accessible. Silly. Okay, done. The confusingness of this level makes it harder to think about basic things. This is all water, isn't it? Fortunately, I'm disarmed and can do that. Oh, hey. <laughs> wow. I'm forced to make this move because the Fagundo has to make a sharp turn there. And since I dropped all the trap doors, nobody can let me out of there. What? That tunnel goes nowhere. Uh, I don't think there's some tricky way that I can make the Fagundo turn that corner without this problem. I certainly can't get in here without dropping those trapdoors. That's the only way in. This guard and these rock golems have a purpose. Oh, no. Oh, wow. <laughs> I see it. <laughs> this is clever. What I have to do is block that tunnel. With a guard sword, guard has to be here, blocked by golems. I think. I'm pretty sure a sword placed on a tunnel will make it so that you don't go through it. That is something that I've never seen as a puzzle element, but it's a behavior that I'm pretty sure exists. So, so let's see if I can make that happen. Uh, you guys are inconvenient. You know that? Uh, I'm gonna need you here. And someone similarly here, here, and here. Okay. That's not hard. Alright. Mr. Guard. How am I gonna get him there? There are ways. Uh, what does this do again? Closes those. Okay. Why does it close this? I don't understand what this is for yet. Okay. Time for some guard manipulation. Don't place him directly there. I need him to slide in, maybe. Hey, don't be doing that. So make him slide in. Mostly I just need some distance. Or this. This works. Done. Okay, great. Tunnel should hypothetically be blocked. Yes, it works. Great. <laughs> cool. 
That is a clever use of tunnel mechanics. All right, and I think I'm done. Bomb blows up. I'm safe because of Force Arrow, and everything's great. Cool. <laughs> that was neat. Sure, this is probably a fine choice. Wait, why didn't I? Oh, uh, I see. All right. There's a builder here somewhere. Here he is. It's a long fuse to let him out. I don't know what he wants to do yet. He doesn't want to do anything because he's trapped. Uh, I'm going to have to guide him to not step on those pressure plates, huh? How would that be done? This station is a different color. Now wait, why is there a red relay station? Like, if I can turn him red for the duration of this, then green for this, and then change the color of this relay station and the citizen at the same time, <laughs> or change this one to red or something, then that'd be cool. Or, okay, so make this inaccessible. Wait, I can blow up relay stations, right? Uh, I feel like that's what these bombs are implying. Yes, relay stations can be blown up. However, I needed at least one of those. There are mirrors. Mirrors can block this. I haven't taken the time to really see what's going on in the rest of the room yet. So I assume you will not want to go here if that's in that configuration. Alright, so hang on. What opens this? That does. Uh, what opens those? Those do. Okay, so... Mm, uh, so roaches can't actually come to me. There's a mimic potion. Well, what's up with this? What is up with this? Well, that's how to get stuck. I can put one mimic on them. But the mimic needs to kill these roaches. If I step south from through a tunnel, what does a mimic do? Mimic steps south. Oh wait, that tunnel went there. Ah. Citizen will remove this tunnel, therefore I can continually step south so the mimic will get there. Fascinating. Uh, this still needs to remain open. Okay, uh, but how do I open this? With the mirrors, I guess. So I'm forced to use the mirrors. Why? I mean, okay, so other things mirrors can do are... They can put out fuses. Uh... They can block pathfinding. They can stand on pressure plates, which is what I want to do here. Okay, so without worrying about the rest of this... What exactly does Mr. Citizen want to do? Hey. He's red. He's red, he does that. He goes to a station and he's gonna... Remove this tunnel. Great. Good job, citizen. He's still red, and he sits there at his station. What are the green stations for? If there are no red stations, does he turn green instead? So it seems. Okay, so there need to be no red stations. I definitely need to detonate... Not this bomb, but that one. Uh, I see. I see. This makes a little bit more sense now. So what I do... Is I put... Yeah, sure, that's fine. Uh, yeah, sure, that's fine. That can stay there. Red station blows up. Green station is safe. Hang on. That... that. Okay, so not quite. 
Shortened fuses. That's enough, right? But do I want to actually set that one off at some point? I might. Because, yeah, this station needs to go away. Um, and actually, this one, too. Okay. I need to preserve things. So these bombs need to retain their ability to explode without killing me. But they need to not explode while this one explodes. Uh, now, that seems like... No, that's fine. I can do this. So that fuse is shortened. Great. What I need to do here is something different. Uh, what do I need to do there? Because, yeah, how this is going to go is... After I'm done with whatever I'm doing with the mirrors on the fuses, they go here and here. I use this. I have some time to get into position. Uh, citizen will move a few tiles north. I'll blow this up. Citizen will move a couple of tiles west. I'll blow this up. Then he'll see this is his only station. And then he'll be trapped because he's going to step here. So maybe I'm wrong about what I want to do there. Oh wait, that opens that. Cool. Uh, that gets closed, which I guess shields this from him going to it as he removes the tunnel. Okay. I have all the time in the world to use this orb, as far as I can tell. As long as I can just get the citizen there. Alright, great. Uh, so I'm going to be using these fuses. Only way to use that safely is like that. This one needs to be short, because... Wait, this seems actually kind of impossible? Pretend Citizen is here. Or here, depending on turn evaluation order. So let's say he's here and this blows up. He's now there, 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 and then he steps on the pressure plate. I need to already ha Oh, well, of course, I need to already have lit that fuse. Okay, so this is a bomb timing thing. So if I can time that well enough. Seems like I want this as long as possible. Sure. Valid. Uh, the problem with that... Is that this is going to light when this goes off. That has to go off. It's going to light that entire region... So the best I can do is something. Okay, uh, now, oh, what? I cannot get there in time, so I have to position those more carefully. Uh, I can burn this first. Yeah, no, I don't I don't have to do it with that. I can burn that first. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is complicated. But I like it. I like how arcane of mechanics I'm being asked to use, but how intuitive it still is, despite the arcaneness. Uh... Uh, how about that? Cool. All right, so I have a longish fuse there. I don't feel like that's long enough. But I mean, that's as, that's as long as I can make it. That is not long enough. I can't even get here before that goes. What? There's a different way to burn this. Maybe. 
This is currently the only place I can light it, unless I want to light all of those at once. But see, those all have to be gone. Those will all be gone because of that. Because I do absolutely have to set off this bomb. There. Well, I know what I'm doing here. So I'll do that first. Mirrors blow up with bombs. It's not like I can protect this fuse while that goes off. Because, I mean, this is going to happen. Mirror goes boom, thing under it gets lit. This is the entire puzzle. Once I have this fuse configured in such a way that I can get here after lighting it and still have this go on off later, then I'll be in good shape. It is hard to see how that's ever going to be possible. This can't reach. There's no handy force error I can stand on to make that... Uh, no other way to blow that up. Uh, no way to make the mirrors block it. Hmm. Maybe I'm mistaken... Well, no. Mm. I was going to say, like, maybe I could do something like block the citizen with my sword and escort him southward, but he would just make a diagonal move around me. There's definitely no doing that. Those do, in fact... Yeah, those are all, all part of the same pressure plate. So I don't get what to do with this fuse. Nothing I can do would appear to protect it from this explosion, and if I've lost that... Okay, so what I need is... Let's see. What I need is... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. It seems like this is kind of at a good length as it is. I just wish I could somehow. Somehow preserve more of this fuse while burning this one. Well, getting rid of this bomb. Because... Uh, uh, there isn't a way I can make this that long. Right? That's going to destroy this entire region of that. Is that... Is there really no way around that? And if, if that's done that, then... It means that I don't get this vertical, so the absolute longest possible I can have this fuse is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, once again, does not even get me here. There is nothing else that can influence... Now, wait a minute. Oh. Oh, here's my error in thinking. This bomb never goes off. This will destroy the red and green stations at the same time. Okay, got it. Got it. That'll re destroy the red and green stations at the same time. Uh, okay. And if that's the case, then the citizen, I guess, will change from red to green? Does it... So, yeah, this is a mechanic I don't know. If he's red and is going for a red station and all the red stations are destroyed... Does he immediately turn green? Like, he's he's uncolored right now. The color of a citizen must be determined by his nearest station? Does help say anything about this? Actually, um, if it does, it's more likely to be here. Citizens... It probably does not get anywhere near that specific. Game okay, elements.
Are the citizens even in the help at all? Monsters? No. Okay, whatever. Uh, I will just have to hope that if this bomb blows up both of those, then he will change... Well, uh, yes, yes, that's fine. Mm -hmm. He will change from red to green. So how to prepare this fuse in a productive way? Uh, I need how many turns again? Seems like the ideal... I see what to do. I do the thing I was doing before. And now I understand why that works. Uh. I do this. And then that right there is my endpoint. Let's just verify. No. It doesn't work. That's not long enough. I can't really get rid of that in any way that I can see. Can I can I make it snake around? That wouldn't make any sense. If I can only light it there. Uh, I can use this to light it, I guess. So, okay, okay. So this is now a lighter for that fuse. <laughs> this is silly. Okay. Uh, so timing remains tricky. Uh, I don't know that I necessarily need to prepare this fuse. Let's try not preparing it and see how this goes. Citizen. At some point, I'm going to do this. Let's say I did it right away. What would happen? That would happen too early. Boom. <laughs> okay, that's way too late. Uh, this is probably important. I'll bet... I'll bet I want those to be aligned, like that. Yeah, it's no accident that those are the same tile. Explodes simultaneously. I want to... Okay, he's green. Oh, that did take out the red station. Okay. Sure. Alright, so I did need to remove uh, something. Alright, so that needs to be a turn earlier. I need to step onto that at the same time Citizen moves. He had to stop and think for a turn. Huh. <laughs> so, changing to a different station takes a turn. Yeah, I knew that. Okay. Okay. So, I do need to prepare this fuse in the... in the expected way. The expected way is just like this. Done. Alright, I believe that is room solved. Basically. Uh, sword doesn't matter. Light. I'm gonna wait here. I need to do this this turn. Perfection. Done. Alright, you can get out. Go remove that tunnel. Thank you. Then just sit there at your station. Cool stuff. Okay. <laughs> Neat. Alright, that took a bit longer than it probably should have, but it was a complicated puzzle. And a very fun one. I'll see you next time for more complicated and hopefully fun puzzles.